reporting from Slab City, hanging out here with uh, Ryan, which I wanted to call Jay again. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I don't worry about um, it. But uh, yeah, he's telling me about, it's, it's not bushcraft, so it's, you're like, you do YouTube videos, it's about bushcraft, but it's not, you don't call it bushcraft, you call it well, being self, self-sufficient, self-sustaining. Yeah, I, I, I consider it self-reliance. Yeah. Um, we, I, I had this discussion with a few of my buddies saying, well, you know, how, how do we really live? Can we call it bushcraft? Can we call it uh, survival? Um, but really, those are modern terms, and i just like to say that uh, anybody's ancestors prior to, uh, you know, modern luxuries, they were just self-reliant. Yeah. So it's kind of like what I'm doing with my house, for my house to be self-reliant, he's doing with himself to learn how to get food, make clothing, do all of those bits yeah. without having to go, you know, and, and, and buy all of that in in the stores and stuff. So it's kind of like me having this house that produces its own power and, and is can be out in the woods for a while. He can do that with himself. Yeah. So I guess maybe that's the next limit for me, right? I got, I can survive like two weeks out in the woods. Yeah. If I want to push it further, I got to go forage my own food and, <laughs> and make my own clothes. So. That'll be the next step. I look forward to watching some of your videos. Yeah. Alright, so right now the channel that I have up is the Indigenous Sustainability Project, which is to get uh, Indian Country, uh, aka reservations, more self-sufficient because right now we're almost completely dependent on uh, off of things we're getting from treaty laws. Okay. Uh, so I want to kind of cut out that dependence and start making us more self-sufficient. And I'm doing that by uh, providing videos that kind of provide information as well as get people inspired to uh, start adopting more self, self-reliant, self self-sufficient behaviors in their life. Uh, everything from being self-reliant in terms of your medicines, uh, your foods, um, foraging, uh, modern skills such as solar setups and everything like that, just to kind of help you out a little bit, get on that path that you want to be. <laughs> That's enough slabs for me. I am uh, glad I came, but I'm a little tired of the place. It is the weirdest retirement RV community I've ever seen. And I'm glad it's here. And I think it's an amazing place, but uh, I don't think it's the place for me. So back on the road. Well, welcome to Algodones Dunes. I'm probably mispronouncing that. I didn't realize it, but because it's uh, the Christmas break, everybody and their uncles are here, so really popular. Loads of loads of things to see. Let's check it out. Dry your smoke, so you can see the light. You're staring at the sky. 
Watching stars collide Watching stars collide Watching stars Well, we're having a pretty good time. I uh, got to know my neighbors a little bit and uh, Champ decided to go over to their wood pile and promptly crap all over it. Yeah. Who's a bad dog? You're a bad dog, Champ. You're a crap-filled bad dog. I don't know, man. I think, I think he's got some of that slab city mentality right now. He's not listening to anything I say. He's sticking it to the man. <sighs> I don't know what I did to deserve this, okay? I've been nothing but a good human for good dogs. I get this bad dog. It's bad. Watching stars collide. 